as you can see, the historic nature of the building, it's, uh, it's just beautiful and it's intact. Pat and Carol Shukard purchased the Bevo Mill last May and are nearing the end of a $1.5 million renovation of the 100-year-old building. This will get renovated, this beautiful door. I know a lot about buildings, Carol knows a lot about design, and, and we love these neighborhoods in St. Louis. The restaurant, bar, and beer garden will officially open on May 7th with a Sunday brunch. We're collaborating with Mike Johnson from Sugar Fire. They're doing all of our food. Renamed Das Bevo, the mill will be open seven days a week and as late as 1 a.m. on the weekends. There's always going to be something going on on at, at Das Bevo. And they'll have plenty of space to do it. We can get 265 people up here and 135 in the Bavarian room downstairs. This room is just about finished. This, this room is called the Bevo Underground. Uh, you can get married here, you can have a corporate party. Most nights uh, on the weekends we'll have some kind of music and concert series. The weekend musical guests could be anything from jazz to indie rock to Bavarian folk but with one main goal in mind. Bring young people in. We're going to have a young vibe. It's going to be a new atmosphere inside the historic former Anheuser-Busch building. We're told that we're going to end up selling a lot of Bud Light here. <laughs> really, it's a real Bevo mill. It's a real Anheuser-Busch thing. And I think people will come from the ballpark. It's on the way home for most people. And we're going to have a beer garden farm. We're going to have televisions. Uh, we'll have music. Uh, we want it to be a lot of fun.